evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for our main event. 12 rounds in the Bantamweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. The Naturals making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Nito Donaire is making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Great. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. And he ties up on the inside. Donaire's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. You're doing great. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Nonito Donaire. Move! Good job protecting himself. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Halfway through round number one. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Off the target by Nonito Donaire. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. Keep working the body. The natural is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Nowhere close that punch by Nonito Donaire. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Ten seconds to go in this round. Keep 
Donaire's missing punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And wide punches gets what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. Well, he looks ready for action here. <laughs> Boom, left hand comes home. <laughs> Stunned, but almost big shot there. Down he goes, he went down. Still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might lay yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Clinch. Targeting that overhand left. The Naturals doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. You no, know, Nito Donier's punch is far off the target. Halfway through round number two. <laughs> Parries that punch away. Fine looking right hand by Nonito Donaire. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch. He returned fire right there, and it worked. After being Keep rocked, moving. now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them, and one of them is being eliminated. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Donaire's putting a big left hand. Go get it! Good job staying away from the danger there. Donaire's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Hard to believe that they can keep up like that. One of those rounds that you just won't forget. Both guys able to land big punches on the other. Well, in the old days, they'd be snapping one of those capsules under their nose, you know, smelling salt, ammonia capsules. Not allowed anymore. They want to wake them up, get them together. Now you got to dump a little water on them, send them out. It's okay. It's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? We move. Move everything. A new round underway here. Donaire's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong.
not much action as he just ties up. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again. They both decide to bring it. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And here he goes again with the clinching. A little head hunting with the right. A stinging uppercut by Donito Jonair. Good right hand by Donito Donair. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. And something you got... No Nito Donaire's crushed by a big left hand. Oh, that's got to hurt. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. The Naturals able to come up with a knockout victory and he does it that early in the fight? And does it with one shot that he never saw. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.